drag to be what God wants to be. It's a critical role in the church. We already understand that with no vision, the people perish. It's critical because the vision is a revelation of God's will to the shepherd for the flock. If you got that, it is a revelation of God's will to the shepherd for the flock. Yeah. Amen. That is the vision of God. God does not give all of us the vision, but he gives it to his shepherd. Uh -huh. Yes. First Samuel 3 to 1 reports a, a dark time in Israel's history. It said, In those days the word of God was rare, and there were no open visions. And I thought as I read that, how can this be possible? These were the people of God. How is it that the word of God was rare to the people of God? Not only was the word of God rare, but there were no open visions, no men of God, no women of God to speak publicly of the word of God. No vision for the people. And a church without a vision is a church without purpose and direction. A church without visionary leadership is a church without vision or direction. Now, I want to preface what I'm about to say with this. This is not a paid political announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Spent months, weeks training the dog. 
so he could be a better deer hunter. And the day came for him to go out and put the dog to the test. So they went out to the field and soon a deer popped up in the woods and the dog took him back to the deer. And the man was so proud of the dog, he said, look at him go. The dog chased the deer all through the bushes, through the valleys, over the hills and everywhere. But soon after, a raccoon crossed his path. The dog stopped chasing the deer and began to chase the raccoon. Chased the raccoon around and around and around all through the woods. And soon after, a rabbit crossed his trail. He began to chase the rabbit. Chased the rabbit up and down the valleys and the hills and all over. And wouldn't you know what a field mouse finally crossed his path. And so the dog chased the field mouse, caught the field mouse, and put him in his teeth and he walked back so proud with the field mouse in his teeth. And brought it back to his master and dropped it before him, looking for a pat on the head, and his master could only drop his head. Somebody shoot that dog. <laughs>